Yo, if you're looking for any Ultimate Team coins or FIFA points, turn a team like this okay. into a team like this. Then go to playheart.com, there is a link down below, and if you use the code HABER, you get a cheeky little discount. Nice. Yo, what's up, lads, and welcome to a brand new squad. But today, we're doing it around the two new players in the game, Embakani and Emenike, two sick looking strikers that were around in FIFA 13, 14, and I believe 15 for Emenike, but not for Embakani, unfortunately. But they were absolute tanks and still are just absolute beasts. So, without further ado, let's get straight into the squad builder. Starting off in goal now, we have got Timothy Howard, the Everton goalkeeper. Now, on that topic, if my voice sounds a little bit off, it's because I literally went mental when Martial scored the winner in the Everton match. Manchester United at a final, semi-final, sorry, today, and I was so happy, so I'm so glad that we scored that, and that's probably why my voice is sounding a little bit off. Without further ado, though, let's go straight into the right back, and in the BPL now, we have got Bakary Sanya, pretty solid card indeed. This is an untradeable Bakary Sanya, this team goes for about 20,000 coins, 15, 20k, and it's a pretty solid team, and yeah, he's actually a really decent right back. Right centre back now, we have got Jeff Cameron, really, really solid at centre back. He is actually a really good card. And the left centre back, we have got Rojo. The reason Rojo's played one game is because I had a previous version of him that got a red card. Um, so I had to go and buy a new one, and that's why he's only got one game under his belt. But on the left back, we have got another Manchester United player in the form of Luke Shaw. Oops, I just backed out. Really solid left back card, very nice for about 1,000 coins he's going for. Now, in the CDM spots, we've got two centre midfielders. Let me quickly go and find both of them here. We have got on the left. Left, we have got Jack Wilshere, 5 foot 9 unfortunately, but he's a really, really solid card. He's actually got a bullet of a shot on him as well. And the left CDM as well as centre midfielder. We have got the Stoke player in Bueller. Pretty solid card indeed. Uh, another untradeable card here, but he's actually a really good card. High medium work rate is a little bit unfortunate, but for his CDM, he's actually really solid. Left cam, we have got Dimitri Payet. A really, really solid card indeed. I love this card. Wicked free kick on him. And the right centre attacking midfielder, we have got Bojan. Another wicked, wicked card. Very, very lethal in the area and just outside the area. High low work rate, not brilliant for a cam, but he's actually really, really solid. Now we move on to the big boys. We have got Embakani on the right. Really, really good card in this game. I love this card so much, honestly. I loved him in FIFA 13. He had a team of the season card, which was just unreal in the Pro League. And this card is just absolutely fantastic. And we have another phenomenal card in MNEK. Now, one goal doesn't really show what he's been doing. He's been hitting the post, he's been hitting the bar, and it's really annoying that he didn't get more goals. He should have scored at least five or six for me. But this one the team looks like, guys. It goes to about 15 to 20,000 coins if you guys do want to pick him up on the market that's what he's going to go for now now i'd recommend quickly if you made this part of the video first of all leave a hashtag luke shaw in the comment section down below why because i miss him and he's really really good apart from that i'd recommend selling your players right now because this week we are going to see a hell of a market crash very very rapid market crash indeed as team of the season is released on 29th of april which is friday anyway lads i'm going to show you some goals now and i'll see you lads in the next video which will be later Thank you. 